everyone can see me now and um, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm Hans Kras from the uh, Australian National University. Um, I can see we've got about 20 people on this. Uh, how interesting. I've never done this before. Okay, well I'm here now today to uh, talk to you a little bit about the um, uh, ANU data management workshop that we've been running for a few years now and it's run by the Information Literacy Program. Uh, here at the ANU. Uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit first about the ANU Information Literacy Program, ILP. Uh, we are here to support ANU students and staff in the development of computer skills and information skills. And uh, this is done, we do this through uh, uh, generic and course embedded training sessions, also through one-on-one -on -one help for research students and staff that at times get quite, gets quite busy uh, and online tutorials, guides and help sheets. Uh, we are very much involved uh, ongoingly in developing more material, of course fairly slowly because we're a fairly small group of four people working here. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the uh, ANU data management workshop that I'll be talking about for most of the time uh, today uh, and here's a little overview. Uh, what the objectives are of the course, talk a little bit about the workshop itself, about the content and so on. Um, manual, uh, I should talk to you about the manual and the, uh, that we use in the data management plan. Uh, also how we publicize our course and the kinds of comments we receive after running these courses. Okay, so um, the objectives really of the course are that the uh, attendees are mostly, uh, they are mostly research students. Uh, they understand what research data actually is and uh, why it needs to be managed. Also for them to appreciate any legal, institutional and funding issues relating to the data they're working with, of course data uh, in a very broad sense. Uh, and also to learn how various data management methods can help them to work more effectively with the data. And uh, to, uh, to also, of course, very importantly, develop an awareness of existing data management services at the university where they're studying. Uh, also, in many cases, we don't have the, uh, the time, really, and at that point not really the need to go in depth with any of this. Uh, it just needs to be understood largely as an overview and an introduction to the issues involved with data management. So the workshop, uh, we've had it now since uh, 2008 which is when uh, originally a PhD research students in the Department of Computer Science compiled it, put together. Since then, uh, we've given it a number of revisions because things, things have changed. We found due to feedback from the students, other ways of approaching some of the material, we've made some changes. Um, we are not running a great number of them. At this point, uh, only about three to four uh, workshops uh, every semester. So you can see here a little diagram of um, how the course attendances have developed over the years, so um, 2008-9 until 2012. Uh, you can see the different years and marked with different colors and also you know the, the average number of attend attendees is not that huge. Uh, we even have had ones when uh, we only had two attend attendees come in. Um, we've had up to nearly 20 in some of the courses. Uh, feedback is very positive and appreciative uh, and it often turns out that um, the students uh, who come were often, had often not been aware of uh, the issues involved and what sort of basic tools they might have available to them in order to, meet, to manage their digital data. When it comes to the content of the course, uh, just this is a little overview here of what we actually go through when we run the course. Uh, we talk uh, 
a bit about bibliography management. Uh, the INU has a free version of the EndNote Bibliography Manager and Database available to all um, members of the INU. So this can be downloaded. So uh, we, of course, also run separate courses in uh, uh, EndNote, teach the students how to use EndNote. Uh, we also cover and touch on uh, file transfer issues and remote access to the various um, uh, places where uh, digital data files can be stored at the ANU. Uh, we talk, touch a little bit on file synchronization, uh, talk about revision control, manual methods, automated methods, and so forth, and also on uh, make a few suggestions on uh, how collaboration between uh, uh, members of a research group can be managed. Uh, often here, uh, the um, local settings in different parts of the universities vary quite greatly from other areas, and uh, in many cases, uh, if anyone wants to pursue this further, they will have to be referred, and we do actually refer them to their local IT support staff. Every college has several of them. Uh, very much we also talk about backups. Uh, it's often interesting to see how um, uh, we kind of expect that anyone would uh, intuitively uh, create a lot of these backups or you know, is familiar with uh, synchronization and version control issues. But it's often interesting to discover how still there's a number of students who come to these courses who uh, have no uh, set procedures to handle these. Uh, security, of course, um, uh, as well, IT security. Uh, we also at the ANU make available free virus software which people can download and use on their own computers, laptops as well. So we talk about that as well. Again, uh, the awareness of that, even though it's widely publicized, is often not, not there. You can't assume that this, everyone knows about this. We also talk about the Pebble, uh, sp or the space on the Pebble server. Pebble is the ANU white file server, so every student, every staff member has space on that which can be accessed from uh, campus and from home as well. Again, many students who come are not aware of that. They're not, many not, not aware that they do have file space uh, on the Pebble server and um, many even more are not aware that this can be accessed from home or from outside the university. Uh, then we have um, a um, collaboration software that everyone has uh, access to. Uh, this is, a, we call this Alliance. It's based on the open source software which has been developed by the Sakai project. Many universities, of course, and other tertiary or educational institutions use Sakai uh, as, a, as, one, uh, yeah, as a learning management system. We have installed it here on campus uh, as a collaboration option with uh, file space and uh, other ways to uh, collaborate between people across the whole world. <clears throat> uh, also we talk in the course about ANU Digital Collections, which is the ANU's online location for collecting, maintaining and disseminating the scholarly output of the university and the supercomputer facility and others. Okay, again, um, at this point, I'd like to say that uh, often there's not, uh, usually there's not enough time really to go into any depth with this, but still uh, we provide information on what to do next if people need to find out about these things. So really, very much so in this course, uh, we provide uh, some information sharing and um, uh, awareness creation exercise for students. Uh, the next thing, benefits and especially requirements of data management, 
uh, are issues which many att attendees are unfamiliar with. That's always interesting to uh, find out about. And uh, we raise awareness for relevant documents like the ANU Responsible Practice of Research Policy, uh, the Australian Code for the Responsible Conduct of Research, and the ARC Funding Agreement for Discovery Projects. So we provide them with uh, uh, methods to access these so they can study them. Of course, you know, we, 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 won't, we don't have the time to uh, talk in depth about these. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so the manual, our data management manual, is uh, openly accessible to everyone. Uh, there is an, uh, a lengthy link. Don't bother writing this down. I'm not sure whether I assume that this presentation will be, of course, it will be available online. Uh, you will see my sl the slides as well. But if you want to quickly just write this down, especially the quick link here, uh, quicklink.anu.edu.au slash ZS lowercase 98. Uh, we'll take it to directly to the manual. <clears throat> uh, data management plan, which is not generally part of the workshop any longer, except where participants requested, a template RTF file is available from the above site. It's very basic, just two pages of um, some issues uh, to be considered and then some space underneath uh, for people to enter uh, their own plan. Or procedures. Uh, okay, how do we publicize it? It seems that because of the low number of people who come to this, you know, is this um, not considered as something necessary? Do people maybe find out the information from, from elsewhere? Uh, we do publicize it widely. Uh, we, the Information Literacy Program publishes every year um, a Learn How booklet. Uh, which gets distributed to uh, many locations across campus, libraries, uh, halls of residence, computer labs. Um, lecturers often hand, them, hand the booklets out themselves in their courses. Uh, you can see an online version of that. Again, lengthy link, quick link. Again, forward slash HZEP will take you there and you can have a look at it. Um, it lists all um, uh, student training and support services which are available at the university that enable the development of data and other information literacy skills. We run quite a few courses throughout the year. Here's a uh, little double page spread from the booklet shows the data management uh, entry uh, brief uh, information on this and then um, a way to uh, access the online registration page where, can, where they can see uh, the dates when the workshop is run and they can register. We also you can see that they're utilized in many cases QR codes to make it hopefully easier for students to register and for more to come. Uh, okay, the other, th other methods, we have a well-known uh, website where uh, uh, training courses, workshops are listed. These are not academic courses, these are just uh, training activities uh, that happen ongoingly at the university. The site address is training.anu.edu.au. Of course, anyone can have a look there and you will find our courses there as well. Uh, the data management course in some cases also is requested uh, for small groups of research students, for instance the Fenner School Honor Students convener regularly requests for us to run the course for the students there. Uh, we also have an ANU Library Facebook page where we advertise the course and, and a few other methods to reach out and inform uh, potential participants about the course. Uh, comments we receive, uh, not too many. We have an online feedback form where people can provide some feedback. It's uh, really throughout uh, all of the workshops, it's been very positive. Here are some of them. 
and what the, the benefits might be that people gain from attending this course. Again, you can see there remote access to Pebble. Uh, that's one thing that people comment on that they didn't know about. Alliance, that's uh, also not very commonly known. Uh, we run courses in Alliance and how to use it. Um, and of course, the last one there uh, in that f under that first question is what is data management about its usefulness and how to use it. Uh, it was good and these RP programs are really useful. Please continue them even in future for the benefit of students. Okay, and that's thank you and that's my thank you as well. Uh, here are my details. If anyone wants to get in touch with me, I'd love to hear from you. And I thank you and I can pass back to Jerry. Um, so th thank you Hans-Jörg um, for um, a very, very useful and interesting uh, presentation.